Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XB. I'll bring you another Injustice 2 video. And today, what I got for you guys is breaking down and talking about all the currency that you can get in Injustice 2. This has been a huge question in the community right now for Injustice 2 on what you do with all the currency in Injustice 2, what you spend source crystals on, regen tokens and all sorts of stuff like that so we're going to be breaking it down and talking about all the stuff that you can do with the currency but before we get to that i just wanted to ask you guys if you can leave a like rating on this video it shows your support and i would really appreciate it so if you could leave a like that would be awesome with that said let's jump into it so as you can see here when we're in the brother's eye vault we have four pieces of currency there in the bottom left of the screen so from left to right we have credits guild credits regen tokens and source crystals now credits is pretty straightforward. It's just about exactly what you think it is. You use it to buy mother boxes in game, or sometimes there's going to be events in the multiverse in which you have to spend a sum of credits in order to unlock the event to play it itself. So sometimes it's gonna be like 1,000, 1,500. It's usually not too much as far as I've experienced. So that's what you use credits for. And as you can see, so the bronze mother boxes, if you wanna buy those with credits, that is 1,000 credits. Then it's going to be 5,000 for a silver mother box. Then it's going to be 25,000 for a gold. You cannot buy platinum or diamond mother boxes. Then you have the guild credits. So let's say you built a guild like mine, you know, the Caboose Army. And if you build that guild and the guild is doing work and they're, you know, unlocking a lot of mother boxes and stuff like that, then you're going to get guild credits. And all the same with regular credits, you use those to buy more mother boxes. So you're going to have bronze, which is uh, worth 500 guild credits. Then you have silver, which is worth 2,500. And then you have gold, which is worth 10,000 guild credits. And again, you cannot buy platinum or diamond mother boxes. Now, next up, you see that little green symbol in the bottom. That is regen tokens. So if you go into the Brother's Eye Vault and you head over to regenerate gear, basically what regen tokens allows you to do is take a piece of gear that maybe you don't like the stats on too much and you get to re-roll the stats. So let's test this out here. Let's go to Aquaman. Let's say, you know, I got this chess piece for Aquaman that I'm not really a big fan of the stats for. I'm going to use one regen token. And then as you can see, it's going to open up a mother box for me. And then boom, I get two pieces of gear. Now the one on the left, this is the gear that currently I have equipped with the stats that you just saw. The one on the right, however, is a new piece of gear with re-rolled stats. It's the same look and everything, but everything's re-rolled. And as you can see, because the gear on the left was a lower level, the one on the right is definitely the one that I want more right now because the stats are better and it is a high le higher level requirement for my character. So we're going to select that and keep that regenerated gear. And now, boom, that has been added to my inventory to use as I please. So that is what regen tokens do and you get regen tokens by going through the multiverse if you do some of the challenges sometimes you're going to see that they count as in-game rewards when you're going through the multiverse so pay attention very closely to a lot of the multiverse rewards that you can get and also when you go into the multiverse look at some of the objectives that you can do within a world there's always usually three objectives and you can if you complete all three of those objectives you may get some really good rewards a lot of credits some mother boxes all sorts of stuff like that so pay attention to that now Let's break down what is definitely, for the community, the most confusing piece of currency, at least for what I'm seeing from a lot of people that are asking questions. Source crystals. So what are source crystals? Basically, this is the currency that lets you buy a lot of the cosmetic stuff in Injustice 2, as well as some additional stuff that maybe you didn't know about. So, let's go to Batman. Right now, I got a pretty awesome Batman with a lot of legendary gear, and he's looking cool. But let's say, you know what? I don't really like that shader. I want to get this blue one, this blue and gray. I really like it. You can spend 4,000 source crystals to unlock this shader. Of course, you can get shaders by other means necessary, you know, whether it's through a mother box or just as a random in-game reward, as a random drop when you're playing online or whatever it might be. But if you wanted to get it the quick way, if you don't want to be patient and, you know, you're just like, I'm, I don't want to test my chances. I might not never get this piece of shader or whatever you can just buy it for 4,000 source crystals now you can also buy premier skins with source crystals so let's say i wanted the jay garrick premier skin for the flash granted i already have it now but if you wanted to buy it with source crystals you can do so and it costs 6,000 source crystals now right now as far as i know i don't think there is any other way to get premier skins in injustice 2 outside of spending the source crystals and of course if you had the ultimate edition you will get the ultimate edition premier skins like reverse flash john stewart and power girl 
Now, if you didn't get the Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate Edition Premier Skins are available to purchase with Source Crystals. And how do you earn Source Crystals? That is the main question now. How do you get them? Well, every single time you level up your account, not a character, so you can see my character level for the Flash right now is level 20. But every time you level up your account level, you will get whether it's 100 source crystals or when you get to level 20 it goes up to 150 and when you get to level 40 it goes up to 200 every single time your account level is leveled up you will get source crystals now unfortunately in my opinion i think you don't get enough to the start like getting 100 source crystals every level up takes a long time to get to that 6000 to get a premier skin and it almost encourages you to buy source crystals so how do you buy source crystals that's a main question go to your store whether that's the playstation or the xbox store you're going to see in game and you're going to see listed source crystals to buy so right now these are the bundles these are the characters that you can get and now this is the bundles so you can get two thousand source crystals for two dollars canadian you can get eleven thousand for six dollars canadian you can get twenty three thousand for twelve thousand canadian fifty thousand for twenty five dollars and 150,000 source crystals for $60 Canadian. So this is totally up to you. I mean, in my opinion, I think it's just so hard to earn source crystals that it almost makes you wanna buy them in game. And I wish that it wasn't that way. I hope that maybe there's some sort of an update that comes down the line that makes it a little bit easier to earn source crystals, you know? And there are ways outside of just leveling up to earn source crystals. For instance, as you saw my Batman, he has five legendary pieces of gear. If you do that for the first time on a character, you will be rewarded 1,000 source crystals. There also may be once in a blue moon a multiverse with rewards that can give you source crystals. So that, that is very rare. I've never really seen it. However, when I was playing the game for the first time around, I remember getting 500 source crystals just randomly when playing through the multiverse. So keep on the lookout for that. However, the main way to get source crystals that I know of right now is just leveling up your account. And to be quite honest, I think that it is way too much of a grind to get the amount of source crystals you'd want to get shaders or premiere skins or anything like that. Now what else can you spend these source crystals on? Well, let's say you got a character to level 20 legit, which you first have to do, then any other character on the roster that you'd like, you can immediately bring to level 20. Now this doesn't give you any extra gear or anything like that, all this does is just skips the whole process of you playing with that character over and over until you get it to level 20. It's 10,000 source crystals to do it, and I have done it with characters like Batman. The Flash I got to 20 legit, Green Lantern I got to 20 legit. But you can spend 10,000 source crystals, and that will immediately bring one of your characters of your choice that you choose for to level 20. And of course, you know, maybe you have a level 20 gear that's waiting for you or something like that or maybe you know you want to get to level 20 and just start going crazy with the character of course when you hit level 10 and 20 with the character you will get abilities for that character so that is something that you have the option to do but it does cost a lot of source crystals the last thing that i know of that you can spend source crystals on if we go into the brother's eye vault again is transform gear now i'm not really going to show you an example because i don't want to spend this on anything right now but what transform gear allows you to do essentially is take the look of one piece of gear and apply it to another piece of gear that maybe has some stats that you wanted. So maybe I have this chess piece for Aquaman and this, the look is just not doing it for me. You know, I just don't really like it, but it has really good stats. Then I have this other piece of Aquaman gear that looks amazing, you know, but it just doesn't have the right stats that I want. I can take the look of that piece of gear that I like and apply it to the piece of gear that has the really good stats. And you do have to spend source crystals to do so. I believe it is 2,000, as you can see there at the top, to do this once. So again, the amount of source crystals it costs to do a lot of these things is a bit too much in my opinion. It's either they're, they're gonna have to reduce the cost of these things or provide more options and more ways to get source crystals in the game. So that's what I'm hoping for. But that's it. That is the breakdown. That is what you can do with all the currency in Injustice 2. That's what all this stuff works for. And that's what you can spend all this currency in Injustice 2 with. You know, you got credits, guild credits, region tokens, and then the biggest one, the source crystals. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And if it was, 
a like rating on the video would be much appreciated. And with all that said, I'm Caboose XBL, and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.